Located in the beautiful Amritapuri campus beside the scenic backwaters of Peninsula India, the Amrita School of Biotechnology, set against the natural settings of Kerala, provides the perfect ambience for higher learning and excellence in research. The school is affiliated with the prestigious Amrita University, led by its Chancellor, Her Holiness Sri Mata Amritananda Devi, also known as Amma. Manager, I am a manager. 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 I am the Amrita School of Biotechnology uh, was established as one of the schools on the Amritapuri campus of Amrita University. Very early on, um, we applied for and got recognized as the center of relevance and excellence under the Department of Science and Technology Government of India's Mission Reach program. The vision of the school is to actively pioneer interdisciplinary education, research and industrial collaborations in biotechnology. The school will strive to advance research and generate affordable preventative and therapeutic innovations to stimulate industrial growth and improve the quality of human life. Our current primary research thrust is a multifaceted approach to combating diabetes. Right now we offer five different programs, three master's program and two bachelor's program. Master's programs are like biotechnology, microbiology and bioinformatics. And some of those courses are like interdisciplinary, that is the most attractive part of it. Uh, especially if you look at bioinformatics, it's a blend of uh, computer science and biology. And apart from that, we have two UG programs, undergraduate programs, BSc Biotechnology and Microbiology. A systematic approach of continuous evaluation is adopted by the school to evaluate the performance of the students. The progress of the student throughout the semester that is evaluated on a day-to-day -day basis. After my doctoral education in the United States, um, you know, I had a whole lot of opportunities open to me. And what I realized was life sciences has taken a big leap in, in India as well. Our school has a lot of diverse research projects in, in various areas and my focus of my laboratory is to look at cancer from a pharmacogenomic perspective. The Amrita School of Biotechnology is supposed to be the best school for BSc Biotechnology in the whole of the state and getting in here is considered to be a huge prestige. In our college where I studied previously there has got a lot of popularity about Amrita School of Biotechnology. A lot of our seniors have studied here. We will get a lot of exposure. The main goal is to make sure that every student here gets involved in some kind of authentic research, a kind of deep passion for science and to understand how science functions through its different mechanisms. When I looked through the institutions all over the country, I found that this was one of the best colleges for BSc Biotechnology. The admission process is initiated from March onwards. For master's program, we have interview plus entrance examination, especially for MSc Biotechnology. Uh, undergraduate programs, we prepare the rank list based on their uh, qualifying examination marks. And by the end of uh, May, uh, you know, we must have selected the students and they will call them for the interview. The goal is to conduct cutting-edge research by creating a foundation for innovative experimentation and the translation of scientific discoveries into practical applications leading to the development of novel and affordable healthcare products by integrating engineering, clinical science, biotechnology 
and natural product-based drug discovery. I joined Amrita School of Biotechnology after doing postdoctoral work at UT Southwestern at Dallas, which is one of the top 10 biomedical research institutions in the United States. It is quite remarkable what has been accomplished here in those four short years. The work in our lab focuses on snake venom. Some of these highly active venom constituents may actually have activities uh, that are desirable under certain disease conditions. Natural product has become absolutely international now. Their importance has been realized. And Kerala is a special place for natural products because it's the long history of use of natural product in the form of medicines, Ayurveda and other system of medicines. As a person who has been working in natural for several decades, there cannot be a better place than this one. The flagship project for the center is to develop a high-quality, low-cost automated insulin pump designed for the precise, personalized and continuous delivery of insulin. Amma's goal is to try and bring such a biomedical device which has all the characteristic uh, features of the imported pumps but is available to the public, to the diabetic patients at a low cost. It's extensive research collaborations with industries on the national and international level. In 2006, all our master's students have been very well placed either in the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industry or in reputed uh, research institutes all over the country as well as many of our students have been able to find placement in universities and research institutes overseas as well. The resources and infrastructure of the school is enviable for an institution that is barely four years old. There are separate laboratories for all spheres of activity. Physics, chemistry, microbiology, molecular biology, biochemistry, phytochemistry, biotechnology, and bioinformatics. All these labs are supported by a central instrumentation facility, along with a mammalian tissue culture laboratory and a separate area for research involving radioactive isotopes. In the short time that the school has uh, been in existence, which is just four to five years, uh, the facilities and the infrastructure over here is commendable. It's state of the art and can match any top university. It has been in existence for quite some time. An e-learning studio with EduSat connectivity connects the multiple campuses of Amrita University. The School of Biotechnology maintains its own library in addition to the Central Library which is automated and has an extensive collection of books as well as recent journals from the Digital Library of the State University of New York in Buffalo. There are separate hostels for boys and girls within walking distance from the school which are provided with adequate facilities to make them feel at home. Sports and games are given due importance in the curriculum. Apart from an outdoor sports ground, which is common for all students, the students have access to volleyball, basketball and badminton courts, as well as a swimming pool. Students can participate in the many cultural programs offered. Kakalo Utsavam is the best part, you know, it's like we can enjoy the most during that time. Then we have Biopulse, uh, then Science Day. We also have, whenever the newcomers come, the Freshers Day and all that, it's all very enjoyable. Cultural celebrations like Onam, Vishu, Christmas and Krishna Jayanti are encouraged in the campus. Many of these festivals are celebrated in the presence of our beloved Amma, Her Holiness, Mata Ambatanandamai. Some of the more prominent visitors who have come to the school are the former President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam the former president of the Jawaharlal Nehru Center for the Advanced Scientific Research, Dr. C.N.R. Rao, and the CEO and managing director of Biocon, Dr. Kiran Mazundar. Biotechnology, to me, is one of the most powerful technologies that man can use to better his life with. 
better understanding of living systems is allowing us to do some very fascinating things that were never thought possible before. With a vibrant academic environment, and a unique approach to learning that involves thought-provoking discussions and a constant interaction among students and faculty. The Amrita School of Biotechnology provides an ideal setting for all-round development of students to achieve the goal of becoming well-trained in various disciplines in the biological sciences. It's really a very enriching experience because I've learned a lot, not only academically but also socially, you know, to be really sociable and to do well in life. We instill in them a strong sense of values, not just knowledge that is obtained from the books, because that can be obtained anywhere. Side by side with that, values like compassion, patience, kindness, a sense of pride in our culture, a sense of pride in who they are, to help them be well-rounded human beings, helping them to integrate themselves beautifully and successfully, be it in the work environment or at a personal level, because Finally, it's not what you know, but who you are that's important.